course, it's what everyone's talking about this Thursday morning, the freezing cold temperatures. Most people hopefully staying indoors, but there are some that are braving the elements. One of those, our Tim Elliott, live in downtown for us this morning. Tim, you've been a very hearty, brave soul for us all week long, bringing us all the skinny on these terribly cold temperatures. How are you feeling out there right now? Well, Karen, I'd do anything for our viewers. Uh, WLKY viewers are the best. I'll stand out here all morning long to bring you guys the latest updates. But yeah, it's uncomfortable out here to say the least. According to your community bank here behind me, it's negative 18 degrees Celsius, which also equates to one degree Fahrenheit. So there's some good news. We have one degree, I guess, here on Main Street in downtown Louisville. It's the kind of cold that as soon as you step outside, it takes your breath away, and within a few short seconds, you really start to feel it. It really starts to set in. You know, this whole week has been really busy for a lot of crews here in the metro. Uh, after several days of clearing snow, nearly a foot of snow in some areas, they now have to work in this freezing weather. Many construction projects have been put on hold as well, including the Ohio River Bridges project. But of course, there's no rest for the city's firefighters. Earlier in the week, the problem was getting to those fires because of all that snow, and that's why they had snow chains that they put on those tires. But now in this cold, the problem becomes battling those fires. It's tough because firefighters say uh, they're ready, though. Mayor Fisher also wants the public to step up and keep tabs on their neighbors. Everybody, please check. Uh, your elderly friends, your relatives, people that you're concerned about, just to make sure that their homes have adequate heat. Some very good advice right there from Mayor Fisher. And getting back to the firefighters, they actually have this device that they call the Red Dragon. It actually uh, helps them defrost hydrants and their hoses and the lines. So it's a pretty cool piece of equipment right there. But hopefully they don't have to use that in the next coming uh, couple of days. And it's pretty quiet for them over the next couple of days. But we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. I'm going to run back to the live truck and warm up. All right, please do grab some coffee. Tim Elliott reporting live in downtown for us this morning. Thank you.